Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is a Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 32 video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to do bare metal backup and restore by using Windows Server backup. So bare metal means uh, how we can take the complete backup of one physical or virtual server and how we can inst uh, do the restore on a brand new machine where uh, a brand new hard drive which having no operating system so so basically we we can take the backup of any existing running servers and we can take or uh, restore that backup on a brand new or a brand new server or maybe a brand new hard drive and we are going to restore that machine and going to uh, get that machine healthy and up and running status so we'll see how we can do that in this uh, video so let's get in this is my demo environment so i have two servers here the first machine is my active directory server which is win 2k19 dc01 and this having active directory and dns role installed on this and ip address is 192.168.0.201 and my domain name is victorinfosol.local so if i go here you can see active directory and dns role if i go to local server you can see win 2k19 dc01 this is my domain name victorinfosol.local and my machine IP address so this is basically my Active Directory server which is serving the Active Directory services to all the servers and desktop and the second machine which we uh, I'm using the same machine which we have installed and configured in last video Windows Server Backup so this machine is Win2K19 RDS this is RDS server basically if I go here so this is Win2K19 RDS server and I have installed Active Directory uh, remote desktop services on this machine so if you go here you can see the remote desktop services installed and RD connection broker session host web, web access role is installed on this machine and we have one quick um, uh, you can say collection uh, which have uh, some office application published and if I go here you can see MS Office is installed on this machine so this is our production RDS server so in last video we have installed and configured windows server backup on this machine so if i go here tools and view the windows server backup so it's going to load and you can see we have two backup here uh, successful backup copies so if i go here you can see two copies we have a backup of this machine and uh, basically we are going to restore this complete backup on any other virtual machine which is going to be a bare metal restore so if I go here and see you can see the backup item is bare metal recovery so this machine is uh, getting backed up as a uh, as a bare metal recovery so if you want to run the schedule uh, and backup on bare metals you can go ahead and you can go with the schedule option which I have already configured if you want to do go with new option you can go here and you can take the complete server backup and then you can select the drive where you want to take the backup so I'm going to take the schedule backup which is basically a bare metal backup backup if you see here this is bare metal recovery uh, so I'm going to here click backup and just going to take one fresh backup of this uh, machine as a bare metal backup backup and then we are going to have a three copies and after the once we have a three copy I'm going to shut down this machine and create a new virtual machine and going to restore the uh, backup file there uh, this machine there so let's go and create one new brand new machine so here I'm going to shut down this machine so I'm going to create a new uh, machine and I will install operating system letter and going to select the windows and I'm going to make it windows over 2016 and I'm going to type here win 2k 19 rds and i'm going to just make sure this is going to be a new because we are going to create a brand new machine rds from a backup so click next and i'm going to uh, create you have to make sure you have at least uh, the same minimum size of disk which is here on uh, your source server so I, uh, on a source server i have a 60 uh, 60 on GB disk so I'm going to create same like 61 gig here and let's click on finish and you can see the machine has been configured uh, here and I'm going to configure this machine going to increase the RAM you can say 16 gig I'm going to assign I'm going to give four CPUs I'm going to put in same network 
and then I'm going to remove USB and printers so all other thing is good so I'm going to click on OK so this machine if I power on this machine you will see this machine having no operating system installed so this is not going to boot anyways so once the backup is finished we have a complete backup of this machine I'm going to um, mount the backup disk to the new virtual machine which we have just created and going to do a bare metal recovery so if I go here disk management you will see we have a 500 gig uh, disk here which is uh, being used for backup so you can see here the backup path is backup destination is this disk which is in 2k19 this is the disk uh, date so you can see this is the 500 gig disk so once the backup is complete I'm going to dismount that disk from here and going to attach that disk to our brand new server and going to restore it so I'm going to close this here and now I'm going to remove this disk which is 500 gig disk so might be you are taking the backup on a, your just uh, external drive or maybe on any other drive which we need to mount to the new virtual machine uh, on a new physical server if you are using virtual machine it's it's much easier if you are using a physical server you have a backup on external drive you can just plug out that uh, server uh, backup disk from your existing server and put in new a new server so I'm going to shut down this machine and uh, just assume this server is no more available and the server uh, like uh, got some hardware issue or, uh, or unable to boot or any issue which is causing you the problem to get this machine up and running so you can go ahead and restore that machine from a backup which we are going to do right now so you can see this machine having 500 gig drive so I'm going to remove this disk from here from this virtual machine and I'm going to mount this here on the new machine so I'm going to add disk and virtual disk and then I'm going to use the Askashi recommended and I'm going to use the existing disk which is backup so click next and I'm going to browse the disk so the disk is here you can see which is mounted here win 2 k 19 rds which is backup disk so I'm going to mount this and now when I click OK you can see here the disk is mounted here 501 gig and now we need ISO to boot this machine and then we can start uh, like recovery so I'm going to mount the media here I'm going to mount the Windows Server 2016 ISO here or you can also mount that to 2019 or 12 any operating system yeah so I'm going to mount 2016 and now I'm going to hit Ctrl at Dell and then you can see this is booting up from uh, DVD drive which we have mounted uh, the basically the installation media of Windows Server and then we will get the option to recover machine so here if I click next you will see here repair your computer option and I'm going to click here and then you will get the option to troubleshoot and you have a system image recovery which we need to do so recover your recover windows using a specific system image so yes we need to do it and it's going to scan automatically the drive which is attached here you can see uh, the drive is detected and location where it's detected is a disk e 0 which we have a backup disk and if I, you go it's automatically take the most recent backup date and time if you wish you can go ahead and select the system image and you will get the all the option which is available there so this is good I'm going with the default option and click next and then the all thing which is given here you need to leave the default and it's automatically going to take care of everything so just click on next and then you need to click on finish and it's going to show you all the disk uh, will be destroyed and formatted replace the layout of the data system image which was there in a backup system so this is good are you sure you want to continue yes so now uh, you can see it's preparing to restore your data and it's going to take some time depending on the what is the size of your disk so it's going to take some time and then it's going to restore the C drive and complete operating system with it and once the restore is completed we can uh, restart our uh, server to get the machine up and running so let's wait for some time and once the restore is started I'm going to resume video from there once again
So I'm going to pause the recording for a few minutes and once the restore is started and uh, we are good to go, I'm going to resume the video from there. So now you can see your computer has been restored and will automatically restart in some time and the restore is completed. So I'm going to hit restart now and now we are good to remove the uh, bootable media from the server so I'm going to remove it I'm going to not connect this and this is done and now the soon server is going to be live and we are able to see what it's going to do so now it's booting up so you can see what we have here we have a backup drive and everything up and running now I'm going to hit control title and you can see we got the machine in domain join so if I go here RDS admin and log into this machine and if I go here tools and open backup server windows server backup you will see here we have a two backup jobs and we have three copies so this is good so the restore is done and we are able to log in with the domain and you can see we have this uh, configuration name domain name everything we have a pre-install applications we have this MS Office, Office apps uh, collection created and if I go here you can see MS Office is installed on this machine so this is all about how you can do the bare metal recover or backup and restore by using Windows Server Backup on Windows Server 2019. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.